Good day to everyone. In this video, we shall see how to do the data driven using the Excel file. The data driven testing in the Postman tool allows you to run the same API request multiple times using the different sets of input data. This is very useful when you want to test how your API behaves with different values like different username, password or with other parameters also. You can easily do this by using an Excel file as a source for your test data. Now let us see how we can do this data driven using the Excel file. Suppose we have multiple candidates and I want to create a multiple job roles. So how do we do this now? Now we need to prepare data in the Excel. That is the list of names and the list of job roles. Now you can see I am creating the uh, data here in the Excel format. Now I am taking some random names and uh, roles here. Now once the required data has been updated in the Excel file, then you need to save the Excel as the CSV. Only in this format you need to save the Excel file. Then only you can import it in the Postman tool. Now go to file. Here you need to save as, then choose the format as csv.csv, then click on save. Now the excel file with csv format, it has been created now. Now I am going back to the postman tool. I am creating a new collection here. I am just renaming it as import. Then I am going to, then I am raising a new post request here. Now in order to import any of the data or in order to uh, add any data then we should be using this post request right so now I'm going to REQ RS dotting here I'm clicking on post now I'm copying this URL now now I'm coming back to this postman tool I'm pasting it here then again I'm going to the REQ RS dotting here I'm copying this body now I'm coming back to the Postman tool. Here I'm selecting body in that raw and then I'm selecting JSON. Now I'm pasting the body which I had copied from Arikiorius dotting. Here you can see that we have a name called Morpheus and job as leader. Now I should replace this with uh, the titles which I have given in the excel file that is I have given it as name and job role so in the place of Morpheus I am renaming it as name and in the uh, place of leader I am renaming it as job role it should be within the double braces here so this is the data variable now once the changes has been done I am clicking on save now I'm clicking on this collection and I'm clicking on these three dots here and there we have run collection. We have an option called run collection. I'm clicking on it. Here we need to select the file. Here you can see we have an option to select a file. I'm clicking on it. Then you need to select this CSV file which we have saved in the Excel format. Now I'm clicking on that CSV format. After that you can click on preview and then you can see we have the data which we have imported from the excel file. If you save it in csv format only we can import otherwise it will show an error. Now you can close this preview. After that click on run import. Now you can see the data is being executed here. Or that is the request that is the post request. It is being executed here. Now you can select the console here. In that you can click on this any of the request and there you can click on response body. Here you can see uh, the name Abhishek and the job role as uh, QA engineer. It has been posted here. Like this you can verify for other names also. Now you can see I have clicked on another uh, result here then I'm clicking on the response body 
here also you can see the information has been updated. You can also view the results for each test run and see the result that is the pass or fail for each uh, example based on the different data sets. If the import has been failed, then it will show some error here. This data driven testing with Excel, it allows you to focus on creating meaningful test data instead of manually running tests one by one. You can also test different input values uh, that is the valid or invalid uh, like this in one go only. Next is uh, it will help you to identify issues with different sets of data without manually altering the requests. Now suppose if you are testing a login API, your test might uh, need to check it with different combination of username and password in order to give the correct result. So you can set up a CSV file with different values and the Postman tool it will test them all automatically. So through this method, your API testing becomes more thorough, automated and efficient. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of our updates or videos. Thank you.